Yeah, oh, fine. <laughs> it's going to get worse and the worse. The calculation. Or does this mean they found, found a way? way? Hello and welcome back to Cinema Rules. My name's Tom and behind this new fancy camera we've got Sean. Hello. Um, today, Sean, it's my choice. But why am I here in front of the camera? Because I think you've probably never heard of this film and I know pretty much nothing, next to nothing about it either. This is a 2018 film that we're watching. So quite recent. Um, it's obviously in our sci-fi playlist. It's called Anayara. Anayara or Aniara, I believe. Ooh. Anayara, I think it's called. Okay. Yeah. Um, I saw this film because I was watching this uh, podcast is this guy, I don't know if you know him, called Robert Meyer Burnett on YouTube. No. Anyway, he's pretty much a sci-fi expert and I trust his opinions and he said this is an amazing sci-fi film. Okay. So, who knows? Maybe it will be crap. But <laughs> um, I'll read you the synopsis because it doesn't give anything away. Okay, um, go for it. So, a spaceship carrying settlers to Mars is knocked off course, causing the consumption obsessed passengers to consider their place in the universe. Mm. Mm. Yeah, who knows? Interesting. Uh, poster looks really weird as well. This is based on a it's epic a poem, apparently. That is the poster? Yeah. Anara. Anayara. It reminds me of a 2000 Space, well, space Odyssey. That, that poster, up. that print yeah. does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, um, I don't know. I mean, I... I feel like we're pretty up to date on movies and have been for a good while. And I don't remember this coming out and people talking about it. No. So, who knows, Sean? It might be another colour out of space for all we know. <laughs> yeah. Guys, if you want to join us to watch the full length version of this film, go and check out our Patreon channel where you can uh, drop a little subscribe and join us on our full length quest to watch movies. And how many... Let me start that bit again. <laughs> No, this, ah, this is not no. the <laughs> um, Sean, how many people are watching right now that aren't subscribed? There's about 39 people that are subscribed, so there's another... Just 39 people? Just th Yeah, just 39, <laughs> 39%. 39% of people that are watching uh, right now are subscribed, so yeah. the rest of you aren't. Where are you guys? Where are you? We're, on, <laughs> we're almost there. I can taste it. 100k. Yeah, maybe not almost, maybe another five years, but we'll get there, <laughs> we'll get there, Sean. Yeah. If you're a subscribe... Do so down below and tick the old notification bell as well so you can uh, join us. Join us. We're, we're, are we halfway through the sci-fi playlist? Just join us on a, ev uh, on a quest, Tom. Join what? us on a quest to watch every film ever made. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Anayara. Oh, it's the credits. Yeah, and they actually play films in reverse <laughs> there and they kick the credits first. It's like those countries and cultures that read the page the other way around. Yeah. Is this like a post-apocalyptic? Or do they escape Earth because of the disasters? I think it's probably we've just absolutely messed up the Earth, like we always do. Mm. They look very used to this type of travel. <laughs> Imagine that view. Oh. Imagine just going up in a lift and seeing that. New life on Mars. That ain't Mars. I used to dream of it when I was a kid. I used to really, it used to be what I wanted to do. What, go into space? But yeah, but. Be an astronaut? Yeah. But now the thought of it's terrifying. Hmm. Watch too many films. Foreskin? Four body, it said. <laughs> Whatever that means. When are they going to invent the thing out of Star Trek, the transporter that just like <laughs> makes you disappear and reappear in space? Yeah. The Earth looks quite deserty. Mm. Welcome on board for Anyara. We are at the top modern transport ship. Three weeks. Three weeks. That's all right, isn't it? It's not bad. It is like a cruise ship, isn't it? Yeah. I've never been on a cruise I ship. I thought from reading the thing, it would be more like a ship out of sunshine with a crew yeah, or something. That's what I thought. Yeah, I've never been on a cruise ship. No, I haven't. I haven't. Ever since Titanic, I've always been like, nah. 
It wasn't Titanic. There was this film called Poseidon. Did you ever see it? Yeah. Where a wave like turns it the ship upside, upside down. down. Yeah. And that used to terrify me. Du snarkar inte hoppas jag. Nej. Have to strap yourself in. Lite kanske. Ja, ja, det får jag bli tvungen att omplacera mig på tillbakabud. Oh, zero oh, days. Oh, mad. Because if they got in there one time. Oh, what is the one? Routine voyage. Oh my god, Tom, it's going to be like the Titanic, but in space. They already did that in an episode of Futurama. Did they? Yeah, they hit a... Oh, sp- yeah. A comet, a space bird or something. Yeah, space bird. Very simple. So, we flyttar hon oss back to jorden so som den en gång har sett ut. Oh. So they've terraformed Mars. No, this... This meme oh, thing I see, shows I see. them what Earth once was, but like uh, those people that were with her were so disinterested, they just walked off. Yeah, and imagine that that's the culmination of your life's work and study that like yeah. nobody cares, and you're like, yeah. Whoa! So is it just like a? It's like almost like a hypnosis sound to get you in some sort of trance. Oh, this is. This makes me feel weird. Like, what could they see? Could that malfunction? Whoa. Oh, just as you said, malfunction. Thomas Titanic in space. <laughs> it's gonna break in half. They're going off course. Oh. How? What the fuck? Why? Everyone seems very calm. Maybe it's a routine knockoff. Yeah, a routine everyone's going to die procedure. Men jag vill att ni gör er beredda på att det kan röra sig om ett par. Max två år. Two yeah, a three week trip is supposed to be two years. People would riot. Imagine if your family are already at Mars as well. Yeah. Yeah, so fort jag har någonting mer så kommer jag berätta det för er också. Så att vi börjar med att ha en nattmacka allihopa. Det är ledningen som bjuder. So they have the amount of resources. It's beyond there for so long. I think they're quite self-sustaining, aren't they? Because they said they had algae that produces the... Mm, okay. Ah. Detta lag är slut. Allting är relativt, men om ett par månader kommer vi att märka skillnad. Mm, men med algerna? Ja, algerna kan vi överleva på. Algae? De är ju inte goda. Exactly tasty. Jesus. They literally eat it. I'd rather eat algae than those cockroach bricks out of Snowpiercer. <laughs> How can they literally not steer the ship from one hit? How unlucky is that? Wow, we're going to okay. skip forward. Hour yeah. one. Down to Mars. So they should have been uh, basically arriving by now at Mars. What would you do in those two years? Well, it looks like they've got some good facilities. Uh, once you see, once you're in the images, you'll see the images. You don't feel your body. That's why you have the pillow. Are people still going to start becoming obsessed with this? Thing? Yeah, so it's like so. escapism. Yeah. Eventually, it's just a ship of zombies. This is what it's, this is what it's going to be like when virtual reality yeah. takes over. Yeah. Yes, we're more advanced. Yeah. And it will happen. It's just a matter of when. Vet du förresten hur lång tid det kommer ta innan vi kommer kunna vända? It's only been three weeks. They said two years, so, you know. <laughs> You've still got to give it a hundred weeks. Yeah, like... Minimum. you got one, one year, 11 oh, you know, months, got, and got, one week left. <laughs> swimming pool... Got an arcade. Yeah, but imagine being stuck on a cruise ship, Tom, for two years. <laughs> You'd get so bored. Actually, I don't know, would you? You just pace yourself. I don't know. Svaret är ingen. That's her prediction. What? She knew this, yeah. Du skämtar. EM54 är det som vi kommer närmast, men det finns inte en chans att vi kan komma åt ens massa. Oh, surely they would have had I like think... pods, escape pods, on this mm. thing. As like a precautionary thing. 
That one is a hypocrite. She is the snorer. <laughs> you actually snore like a squealing hog. No, I don't. It's you, true. uh... You have sex like a squealing oh. hog. <laughs> I don't know why everyone's Look like... Oh. Yeah, it's so beautiful. I don't know why it everyone's is, like it's so... Because, because it's so, like... Vastly isolating, isn't yeah, it? Like I guess, vastness of space. I guess it could get to you. Nothingness. Yeah. What more could you want? You've got a fucking huge cruise ship. But you've even got this, this that allows you to. Yeah, but it's not real, is it? I feel like it's paradoxical because no matter how many times you go into it, you're not. Having that real contact with but, life and nature. But it helps. A lot of science fiction kind of shows that in space, they do have these kinds of settings, don't they? Holograms and things. Like Sunshine yeah. had it. Mm. It's like Star Trek has it as well. To avoid kind of Insanity. space madness. Yeah. But it's uh, like... Um, look at the great food they are eating. Algae. For the rest of their lives. <laughs> Algae porridge. <laughs> mm, what do we got today? Oh, Negrin. No, no. Hey. Estamos atrapados, me oís? Estamos atrapados, me oís? Estamos... She's going to have an entire room cramped in there. Because they're going to become Because she's becoming more reliant on it herself yeah. as well. Like. Yeah. On the ship. But how can you? <gasps> Year three, already. We were suspecting, expecting it's two, two years. years. I can't believe that. What's going to happen? What's going to look like? They said a bit of their own little planet. I wonder if they've evolved like a culture or like a... They're all dead. <laughs> there could have been riots. They could have been when they told people. Maybe they haven't gone public yet. <laughs> is it a new just, dance that they've made? Or everyone is, is it just absolutely battered. <laughs> <laughs> Send it into alcoholism. That, that, and that algae has some hallucinogenic <laughs> effects. Is that her, or is that the thing? Dying. You said it gives you your mind, doesn't it? We don't even know what this is, whether it's like an AI or... Yeah, no idea. What's she gonna say? People having horrendous visions and nightmares. Yeah. With the stone. It's creepy. It's like poetry, isn't it? I'll be done with my displays. It's like a being. It's like a AI, isn't it? Yeah. What if yeah. it's learning? And it sees uh, it's protection from nearly everything. Yeah, it's learning because of their it's reading their memories and learning that they destroyed the planet, yeah. right? Yeah. Is this the room? Is this is this what's um... they've been pulled into this, showing that, that it's showing them. Or is this thing. blowing itself up? Have they got like a morning? Yeah, it? yeah, <gasps> Mima. It's weird. She did tell them all. People will go mad if that was their coping mechanism. I just want to see the next skip. 15 years later. No. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? Uh, they're turning into a like, mm. dictatorship, aren't they? What are they going to do? What, like, publicly execute her? What, like... I wouldn't be surprised. But throw her in a prison. Do they surprised. have prisons there?
Whoa, what the hell is going on there? Who's, who's he fighting? Was he... That wasn't her that was being no. attacked, was it? No, it was, he was punching whilst they were still walking her away. Was it that... Yeah, it's her, her captain friend she's in love with. She punched the captain. So yeah, that's for... another year has gone. The cults. That's not that's good. That's not going to be good. <laughs> Oh no. Are they praying to Mima as like a god now or something? Come closer, give us like maybe they're worshipping a son to go kill them. Yeah, they're looking out into the distance. This is how it would happen, man, I'm telling you. I will not recitera that his crops will be graves in the Ljusårs graven. What betyder it exactly? Han verkar vara rädd för rymden. Hur många självmord är vi uppe i nu? 48. Wow. 48. This month! Yeah, fine. It's gonna get worse. And the worse. calculation. Or does this mean they found, found a way? way? They're gonna turn up to Mars. They're all gonna be weirdos like, <laughs> It's only been five years. <laughs> Yeah, everyone else is normal. I'm yeah, it's because I've been there for a while. Yeah, it's just like what? we have more restrictions in <laughs> turn, on Mars. They turn into the people from Event Horizon. <laughs> yeah. Så var fred inte hos Isagell. Ja, men vad är fred? Och jag ska försöka smita in på minglet. Ah! What the fuck is that? Is that the water? I don't. <laughs> Is there water unless it's no? Like... The fuck are you drinking? Unless it's booze. They will be on strål skärm utanför fönstren, så att vi slipper mörkret. Beam screen. We can build a substitute. What a meme along along the outside of the windows. Substitute for the substitute. Hmm. Take the back. A rescue ship? So what, from Mars? That's going to spread like wildfire, that, that. Give people hope and then just snatch it away. So they could have sent it after them? Yeah. How long is it? 14 months. <laughs> 14 months. There's still a year. There's another year. fucking year. <laughs> They're all gonna die. <laughs> With insanity. Or has he announced it? He's announced it. <laughs> oh, God. They can't say that. They don't know that. Anything could happen to it. That could go off mm. course. It could get enough. For... It's to keep the. Spirits oh, high though, yeah. isn't it? Because he'll just be like, if it doesn't work, he'll just, at that point, he'll just be like, so, it's not here, <laughs> it's so another they, year away. <laughs> they get an extra portion of our view then, or they celebrate. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's just the captain, Spear. like, absolutely <laughs> drunk, gonna, just like, I think, <laughs> I think they're going to mess it up. Yeah, that's what I feel. But everyone's at the windows watching. And then they just destroy it. it. Miss it and it flies on past. <laughs> Into a sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, imagine you being like the, the controller of this and getting it wrong. <laughs> what are oh, you twat? <laughs> Oh, it's a simulation. Shut the probe into a hole in the craft. Why do I have the inevitable sense of dread that it's going to go wrong? Because it's a sci-fi movie, Tom, and nothing ends well. <laughs> well, without a little bit of sacrifice. Det är en verkstad på 1,7G. Nu 
centralisera tyngdkraften. I was passing by, yeah, so they, they just pulled it in. They, they like and stopped it from whizzing by them. <sighs> oh, oh, I thought it missed I it. Thought it missed. <laughs> But surely they've got to go six years back in the other direction. Unless the fuel is... Booster. Uh, nitrous. Right, it was only <laughs> going to take them three months. No, three, three weeks. weeks. Only. Yeah, so another six years back. And then three weeks. No, I Yeah. The first spectral analysis of the helicopter stem has given us an answer vad det rör sig om för ämnesammansättning. Vi vet inte vad ämnen är. Vi har inte uteslutat att den kan innehålla bränsle. Absolut inte. Nej. Vad är det då? De vet inte. De har ingen idé vad ämnen är. Det kan vara alien. Det kan vara alien, ja. Det kan vara någonting. Det kan vara något som bara drifter i spacet. Att den där dök upp, det har ingenting med oss att göra. Det är slump. Utan mening. Ja, men du, okay, okay, då säger vi så. Ja, men det är ingen möjlighet. The chance of just finding that thing floating in space. In space. Space. The infinite Ooh. space. Det sista vi vill är att folk ska sluta hoppas. Därför kommer jag ikväll på informationsträffen säga att allting går enligt planerna. It's probably the best mm. yeah. approach to take, to be honest. In likkista. Det är det enda vi med säkerhet vet. Jag tolererar inte den tonen. Jag tolererar inte något jävla hyckleri. Nej, vi ska sprida mig av rykten den här gången. Did he just kill her? Oh my god. Did he just I think murder it, her? I think if he's done that, he's an, he's an absolute imbecile because of her knowledge. Yeah. That's a horrifying thought. Just forever drifting. In you space. won't even decompose. No, no. You just you just get found by some aliens and it's just like, oh. Yeah, maybe like, yeah. like a little splatter on a on a windscreen like a bug in the car. <laughs> they just can't do anything no. with this thing. What is it? <gasps> oh no, it's a screen wall. It's the screen wall that they wanted to do. Uh, Imagine that. But the way I read this is that people are so detached from their own reality and, yeah, about, but, and about escaping yeah, but, that, they, that they make things worse for themselves. Yeah, but Tom, they're so attached to their reality. They're going insane because of how depressing it is. They need escapism to survive. That's... That's what yeah. I, I, I see. I think escapism is, is and hedonism is the death of things. I mean, like, look... They're already like the deaf. Whole, the whole the comment you could be that is that people of, the, of Earth didn't focus on Earth and cared too much about other things, and that's why Earth was destroyed. What's going on here? Oh, no. Oh, my God. She didn't get to see it. She didn't get to see it. It was the fact that she kept looking out the window at nothingness and it sent her into a spiral of depression which led her to this. That's so bleak. Huh? Year 10. Four years later. MR tilldelas han i Aras hedersmedal. För sin strålskärm som hjälpt oss alla att minnas vårt ursprung. Och förflyttat oss till glittrande... Does that mean he tried to? Yeah, yeah, potentially. Which would make you just be like, oh, okay. Look at her, she's a, a shell, like yeah. a husk. That's the worst thing you could do, though. Nothing. Keep yourself busy, as busy what? as possible. Oh. Wow. 
What do you do? There's not enough people. <gasps> 24! 14 years later! Sarcophagus. All the lights are out. What are we about to see? What was that thing that they got though? Just bullet. Unknown element. It could be anything, couldn't it? It could be alien, it could yeah. be ancient. Eos. Eos. Are they all blind? Eos. Eos. Was it just no, it was just that one person. Eos. Eos. Yeah! What? Five million nine hundred and eighty one thousand four hundred and seven. What? Lyra constellation. Five million years? What the fuck? They're still fucking going. They were able to turn around after five million years and they predicted two. <laughs> they said two. Nope. 5.8 million. <laughs> wow. And they got to a planet that looked to be habitable. How? Bleak and depressing is that ending. Jesus Christ. Okay, Sean, that was 2018's Aniara or Anayara. Um, that was a really bleak film, wasn't it? It was. I don't it was really, really know bleak. what to think anymore. Really bleak. Uh, I'll summarize what I think the film's about. Yeah, go on. Then. So I think it's about. Um, ah, I think it's kind of. It's it's so it's prophetic, isn't it? Like a prophetic, as in prophecy, like um, the destination that mankind could be going. Uh, if they don't look after their own world and pay attention to their surroundings. I think the yeah. bleak, the bleakness, and the the imagery of blindly following, without actually looking and listening and paying attention, and and that I think it it leads leads to a destination that's um, that's like self destructive for mankind. But at the same time, despite the horrendous bleakness of the ending and the irony that they do reach another planet like Earth, but millions and millions of years when mm. far after this thing's been destroyed. Um, I think the irony is that there, there are other worlds out there, but mankind can never reach them. They're just, it's that imagery of the bubble in the glasses at the mm. start, isn't mm. it? We're just so insignificant and stationary that we have to look after the one planet we do have because we'll never reach another one. Mm. Yeah, there's, there's definitely... Um... And I mean, there's the, the question of how mankind kind of died on this ship is irrelevant really, isn't it? Because is the, 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 po the point the was place. The point was... And maybe it was our ignorance the reasons, thinking that they ever would survive. Well, it's the, it's the, it's the reasons as to why they were on that ship in the first place. Mm -hmm. um, it's almost an act of God for punishing yeah. uh, punishing them for what and they the, did to the planet. Yeah, and that poem that the woman created about even the devil and God both yeah. abandoned mankind. Yeah. And the and the reason for their the reason why they went off course was for a, for a very very unusual anomaly. But again, that was mankind not maybe having so it's the, a higher, maybe having the arrogance to think that they would they were above yeah, this chance yeah. of happening. Right? Yeah, and it's a high, it's a it's a higher power mm. um, humbling them, humbling yeah. mankind almost. Yeah, and it was yeah, all... yeah, I like the, the idea that you say that they were destroyed Earth in the first place. They never accept, do they? It's briefly mentioned occasionally. But it's never it's never outright acknowledged that they did that until that kind of poem that that woman mm. uh, write was wrote was read out, um, and I love the fact that I thought this memo was going to play a much bigger part, but the fact that, that I'm guessing it was a mankind created AI, mm. even that when it learned from the mankind from mankind's memories, 
ended up killing itself yeah. because of the kind of horror. It yeah. said something about terror going out and horror coming in or something like that that yeah. mankind was capable of. It's also obviously showing appreciation for... Uh, obviously, Mima was this, was this projection mm. um, of nature and they and mankind not only could not survive in that urban and concrete jungle jungle of a of a ship mm. but oh, they right. they create a society which exterminates nature and those projections of nature was just a metaphor for saying for how much people needed yeah. it, how it much they never, craved and, and, and it was, nature. And it was paradoxical because it was never real. So even though they got these screens up, it never affected, it never yeah. worked anyway. But there was always and, a need for it. Yeah, and this, but the, that bleak, the bleak deaths of the suicide at the end is so traumatic, but it really emphasises the isolation, mm. doesn't it? That we feel. I, I need to go and take a walk outside in nature. After yeah, this yeah, one hundred percent. Sometimes when you're watching a a uh, film in a different language and you're watching subtitles, I feel like you can be detached from the characters slightly. No, I but I, but, I disagree. But we've watched so many where that hasn't been the case. Yeah. So I think. I don't know whether it was the performance or perhaps it was the writing of the characters. They did hardly speak. They hardly spoke. I think that when it there wasn't, wasn't kind of like scientific jargon, and stuff. there wasn't enough depth or backstory with the characters, so you didn't mm. really know who they were. Mm. But not only that, I feel that with this 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 concept of being adrift in space, not knowing what 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 direction the characters are going to go, what what purpose the characters have, the fact that it was so unknown left me feeling a little bit like that like See, what is the point of this film like where is this film yeah. going so i didn't have a i didn't have a problem at all with the the structure of the time jumps and things like that and i didn't even i actually quite liked the ending as well the fact they had that dramatic ending there mm. um but i just would have liked some kind of more of a backstory to her character because it just didn't make sense to me that she had nobody except this Mima thing. And, she and then when she found somebody, she was so kind of um, f- fleeting in her love for this other woman. In that she'd go off with yeah. the other people. And, yeah. But maybe that's, maybe that's the comment that human beings are fleeting in their desires and... I just don't think this selfish. is selfish. Yeah, I don't I think that's entirely what it is. I don't think this has a good thing to say about the human race. No. At all. No, not at all. Um self-destructing. Yeah. I feel including those time jumps, but but extended periods of time when there was no time jump, yeah. it felt like the the plot was drifting. It didn't yeah. feel precise enough. It didn't it didn't really um, didn't really get into the nitty gritty as, as to what the film was trying to say in some of those. Uh, I just parts feel like there film. should have been some kind of reveal about the captain knowing something else or this object or, or this object or yeah. something to to really hammer home the futility of the. I wonder. I wonder what thing, because you get the main character just wallowing in her own depression. Yeah, which which highlights the futility of it. She's been doing that for four years and. He'd obviously tried to kill himself as well. She was doing it for 5.8 million years, mate. Um, I, w- I wonder what the metaphor of that object that they found what is. I think it's like, again, mankind's arrogance to think that everything is, is about them. And, uh, no, is, is, the whole uh, universe uh, is centred around them. <laughs> yeah, and that things are sent, uh, sent for them. And, um, and there's certain things that mankind can't achieve and shouldn't perhaps attempt to either yeah like what i mean I, I saw this thing the other day and it's like oh we'll be able to if um we might it might be possible that uh we'll be able to terraform other planets if earth gets kind of destroyed by global warming and that but like what why not just terraform the earth right now what, by, nuke it 
No, no, like, why not <laughs> actually tear from the earth right now by fixing the climate crisis, like... Mm. Yeah, that's too political for my taste, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what would you rate it out of 10, Tom? Uh, sometimes it's difficult, isn't it, when a film's intensely bleak, but then Children of Men was intensely bleak, but it had that hopeful ending that was a bit mm. more uplifting. I don't know. I don't know, you know. Um, I do really like the message of the film, but it's not as good as I was expecting it to be. No. Um... And I think that does stem from the writing of the actual characters and the kind of believability of those characters. Yeah. And how they interact, how they respond to the situations that they're in. Um, probably a 6.8, I would say. Okay. No, no, do you know what? I'm going to give it a tiny bit lower than that. I want to give it a 6.6. I mean, <laughs> I said tiny bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't... Yeah, maybe it's the bleak nature of the film. I, pre- I really appreciate and understand... I really appreciate and value and quite like the message that it makes. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think I think there could just have been story-wise something else. Yeah. For me, um, the main issues that I have with it is... Um, a sense of direction and purpose of the film, and I, I, I can understand that the the film might want to make the audience feel the then, same as the passengers. Yeah, yeah, that is the point, isn't it? It yeah. is directionless. Mankind is adrift. We are adrift at the moment in space. We just don't. But I think I think it would have been better if the film led the audience in, in, into a self, in, into a um um. Uh, into a false sense of security that there is gonna, there is a direction, um, but at the very end, slap them with the, no, they didn't know what they were doing the entire time. I see what you mean. Thing. Like a, so, the, the twist or the reveal would be they always think they're going somewhere. Yeah, but they never. But they actually never are. actually are. I feel like the audience would probably anticipate that. Though. Yeah, May, potentially, um, but at at the same time, I feel the characters are too shallow in terms of their depth um there is not a single character that seem that has that seems to have like empathy or optimism she, she the main character's got optimism the entire time She's uh, the, what, in the, in her, the, her girlfriend. That she's trying to create the. No, her, girl, her girlfriend states that she's um, she admires her because of her perseverance. Yeah, I see that, but but I still think she's doing it for selfish reasons. Uh, I don't think there's, I don't think there's a selfless character in there, and, not, and obviously people aren't selfless all the time. But that, I mean, she still goes around with other people, people as well, isn't she? And. Mm. Yeah, but for for me, it's the sense of purpose and direction of the film that, and and mixed with the bleakness, like you said, that leaves me not really necessarily enjoying my experience watching this movie. And you know, movies are supposed to you're supposed to enjoy the process, even if they are bleak. You know, like you said, the can Children you, of Men you, was was quite of, um, entertaining. Can you think of, a, of a, apart from Children of Men? Can you think of a really bleak film that you do really like? Uh, Twelve Years a Slave. Mm. Really well crafted. The music mm. was 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 great. This, I can't can't really name you or or tell a specific moment where the score really hit no, deep. It was kind of hauntingly Silent. adrift, just like the yeah. the experience in space. Wasn't but it? um, for those reasons, I'm gonna rate it a five point eight. You guys can tell us what we might have missed. Uh, give us a deeper dive into mm. exactly what the meaning of the film is, and maybe on on reviewing your and reading your comments, we might feel differently yeah, about the film. It's definitely one to think about. Mm. Do you know the bleakness here reminds me of a ghost story a bit. Mm. I know what you mean. Um, and the kind of the. The um, the ambience of the film and yeah. the, the slow burn of it. Whereas a ghost story was a bit more artistic in its approach. 
yeah. that made it more intriguing and interesting and visually impactful I think the, on the viewer yeah. rather than this. Yeah, um, let us know what you thought anyway. Maybe, I'm, I'm guessing that not a lot of people will have seen it. But Yeah, let us know what you think. Do you agree with our scores? Mm. 6.6 and 5.8 out of 10. Um, let us know in the comments down below what your rating would be. If you want to watch the full length reaction along with us, link in the description is down below. Um, and we're, you know, we're approaching 100k, so if you're still watching and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button mm. and uh, we'll see you in the next video. My pick, and it's, I've, I'll promise you, it's a more fun experience. <laughs> <laughs> see, you see you next time.